Hey guys, so today I want to do a quick startup speed test between the HTC 10 and the HTC One M9. Uh, both are running on Android 6.0 as well, the latest update. So let's start them up here. Let's do a Geekbench uh, processor speed comparison. Let's go. Uh, so HTC 10 on the left side, this one. Uh, you can see here how you do have the like the boom sound, like the stereo speakers here on the front side on the M9, which is very nice. I don't see any speakers on the front side on the HTC 10. That can be a big loss if you are into that. No, is this one going to be first? That would be kind of embarrassing. A little laggy there. This one loads slow. I almost, I almost believe we have, I almost believe the M9 was a bit faster there uh, because this one loaded up faster but it um, it kind of got stuck there on the, uh, on uh, loading up the icons and everything, that was a little bit weird. You can see both have the same kind of um, app um, thing over here but a little bit a different theme, I mean here you do have a little bit of blue colors. Uh, in here they are pretty similar. This one looks like it has a little darker theme to it. This looks identical as well, like we like it. The annoying thing with the um, HTC One M9 was the kind of button layout on the side. It was like extremely hard to know which button to push. It was like extremely poorly designed uh, because they were so close to the volume buttons. They made it so much easier now in this but in uh, in the HTC 10 is because the 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 power button here has a, a kind of like a feeling to it, so it's a little bit harder to instantly know that it is the power button. This one has another feeling, the volume up and down key. So it's very very easy to find the right button it also that the volume keys are stick together into one button one large button so it's only two buttons here here when it's three buttons and they all almost feel the same not exactly but it, it was just hard it was just a bad layout and this one also had this extremely ugly design i think uh when it almost looks like it has a case on uh yeah it doesn't have a case on but it looks extremely ugly uh, it has this nice metallic back though, but this ugly thing where it looks like it's in a case, it's not pretty looking. This one has uh, of course these extremely cool designs on the sides, which is very very nice uh, across the whole phone. It's just better, better design, doesn't have this uh, case uh, look to it. Uh, which is pretty pretty poor actually uh, and I like how it has the the buttons outside of the display so back key menu or yeah, multitasking key here they are built into the display I don't like that at all I like the more the Samsung style with the buttons here I would like if it was a real button as well uh, but this one is just like it doesn't you can't push it in like it's just like a touch sensor for I guess uh, fingerprints so let's just do this benchmark test here. Uh, where is it? So this one has around one gigabyte more of memory, Adreno 530 versus 430, almost the same CPU speed, both of QCOM. This one has a little bit newer Android 6.0.1, 6.0. Hmm. So I'm pretty sure we have the sound here on this phone. Uh, I see a little bit of a speaker down here, sweet. I like how this one also has a better design. I mean, it looks a little bit better. This one has this charging port in the middle. The M9, or the M9 here, it was like a weird phone because it had like very, very poorly designed phone. This one is not even in the middle. It's a little bit closer to the edge. It, it just feels like a poorly designed phone. But it is nice on the front, especially with the speakers. But then you do have the HTC logo taking up a lot of space, unnecessary space. It's just like, yeah, it was a lot of, it feels like a lot of design mistakes they did with that phone. 
Okay, so is it uh, finished? Okay, what score did we get? So, you can see this one is still pretty powerful uh, compared to this one. I mean, it gives a little bit of a boost. This one almost got 4,000, this one 5,000. So, it definitely is stronger. It's stronger, so that, that can that can be good to know, for sure. Uh, but not a major difference in, in the look here of uh, the UI. I mean, they made some tweaks here and there, but the overall thing is uh, sort of the same. If we go into settings here, it also looks a little bit different design. Here it looks like a little bit like HTC's own look. Here it looks a little bit like more stock Android that they're trying to bring that experience in here. And this one has, okay, so after HTC Sense 7.0, here it looks like almost they don't call it Sense anymore, perhaps. Maybe they don't. Uh, but yeah, quickly a video checking them out side by side. Uh, definitely let me know if you want to see something and uh, have an awesome day. Peace.